Okay, guys, so before we start today's lesson, go uh, today's math lesson, go ahead and get out your packet. Open to the first page, to your anchor chart for metric length, and then tear it out. Make sure you tear it out. Do not turn it back in. This is for you to use. And we're going to go over this anchor chart together. So that should be out and torn out of your book. And now let's look at it. So this is set up just the same way that the customary length uh, anchor chart was set up, where we have the shortest of the units on the left, and then it goes to the longest units on the right. So the shortest metric unit that we will be looking at is the millimeter. The um, millimeter is abbreviated as MM, both are lowercase. And one millimeter is about the width of one eyelash, or the, uh, the width of one eyelash, not the length. So not from here to here, but about from here to here. They are very, very tiny. If you look at a ruler, which I know I completely forgot about this lesson when I said you could give me back the rulers. I'm really, really sorry about that. So there is actually some parts that you're supposed to measure, but since I already had you give back the rulers, and most of you have, um, don't worry, we'll just estimate. And I'll tell you that when we get there. But if you look at a ruler, which I have this one, you see centimeters, which is from this blank line, or this blank spot to the one. And millimeters are each of these tiny little measurements in between. So you can see that millimeters are very, very small. They are about the width, not the length. So not from here to here, from end to end of an eyelash, but about how wide they are. They're very small. The next unit is the centimeter. A centimeter is abbreviated as CM. This, these are probably centimeters and inches are probably what you've worked with so uh, up to this point, up until fourth grade. One centimeter is about the size of a ladybug. So again, very small. So on our ruler, we looked at it. We saw that one centimeter is from the first line to the one, and then a millimeter are all these little ones in between. So they are very small. Next, we have a meter, which is abbreviated as a lowercase m. A meter is about the length of one baseball bat. A meter is very close in length oops, to a yard. A meter and a yard are very, very close in length. They are not exactly the same, but they are very, very, very close. Um, and then the largest, or the longest, that we'll be talking about is the kilometer, kilometer. You might hear it either way. I will say kilometer in this it is abbreviated as KM. A kilometer is another driving distance. It is not as long as a mile, but it is long like a mile is. Again, though, it is not as long as a mile. Think about it. If you've ever run a 5K race, or if you've ever heard of a 5K race, that's five kilometers. If you run in a 5K race, you're running five kilometers. That is about the same as 3.2 miles. So a kilometer isn't as long as a mile, but it is pretty long. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and look at the book. Okay, so go ahead and open your textbook to page 775. And we'll go ahead, let's look at what it says under the title. So you should be on um, chapter 12, lesson one, on page 775. So let's read these sentences under the title first. Length is the measurement of a line between two points. So length, whether we're talking about customary units or uh, metric units, we're measuring the same thing, the distance between two points. Millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer are units that are part of the metric system of measure for length. So we're still talking about length like we did when we were doing inches, feet, yards, and miles, but this time we're talking about a whole different system. We mostly use the customary system in the United States, but if you go pretty much anywhere else, they use this metric system. I'm not sure why that is. Um, you can look into it if you'd like to find out. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is. So what we're talking about today are units of measurement in the metric system. They are not the same lengths 
as the units in the customary uh, in the customary system. They might be kind of close. Some of them might be kind of close, but they are not the same. So there is nothing here that equals one inch, and there's nothing here that equals one foot. Yards and meters are almost exactly the same, but they still aren't interchangeable. And kilometers and miles are somewhat close, but they are still not equal. So there is no equal metric unit to any of the customary units. So first, we're going to talk about it again. A millimeter, that's the shortest of those uh, metric units of length, is about as thick as six sheets of notebook paper. So if you put six sheets together, it's about the same as the width of one eyelash, and that is one millimeter. Next, the next size up is a centimeter, or cm. It's about the length of a ladybug. So you think of a little ladybug, that's about one centimeter. A meter, or m, is about the height of a chair. So remember, it's like the yardstick. Excuse me. It's like the yardstick. So from the floor to here, um, it's like a baseball bat. And then a kilometer, K or a KM, is about six city blocks. So imagine if you're walking downtown and you're walking down six blocks. That would be like, so from intersection to intersection, six times. That's where the block ends. That would be about a kilometer. So it's similar to miles, but it is shorter. Okay, now everybody, finger or pencil on example one. This is where you're technically supposed to have a ruler, but I forgot about that. Most of you turned it in. So luckily here, we can use the ruler that they printed. Um, the rest of them, when we get to those problems, I'll tell you what to do. You don't need to use a ruler. You'll just estimate. But example one says, Doug is growing carrots in his garden. He pulled out a carrot for lunch. Measure the carrot to the nearest centimeter. So even though you don't have your rulers, sorry, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. This will still show us how to use a ruler to measure centimeters. So step one is you will align the zero on the ruler or in the case of some of ours, that very first line, because on here, on this ruler, we don't actually have a zero. Oops, I'm on inches. So turn over to the other side from inches. And here we don't actually have a zero, but you can see there's some empty space. And then there's that very first line next to the CM. That's the same as that zero mark. So, he lined up, Doug lined up the carrot with the zero, and then he figured out from the zero how many centimeters is that carrot. It says that the carrot is closer to the 12 centimeter mark than the 11 centimeter. If you look really close, you can see where the end goes just past the 12 centimeter mark. So it is definitely not close to 11 centimeters, and it's much closer to the 12 than it is the 13, which is kind of cut off. So that means the carrot is almost or about 12 centimeters long. It's not exactly 12 centimeters because it goes just a little bit past, but it is about 12 centimeters long. Now what we're going to be doing, since you don't have your ruler, I'm so sorry. If you have your ruler, go ahead and use that. If you don't, because you turned it into me already, so, so sorry, I can't believe I forgot. Um, you're just gonna estimate length. So you're gonna estimate about how many ladybugs would fit between the end, one end of this carrot and the other. And we'll do a guided practice and one independent practice on that so that you can kind of see what I mean. Okay, so let's turn the page and we'll look at example two. Okay, so before we do example two, Let's read the sentence above, uh, above. It says, before measuring the length of an object, always estimate the length to decide which unit of measurement to use. So anytime you have to measure something, what you wanna do first is just kind of estimate how long or short that object is so that you're using the right um, unit. Like you don't wanna look at a pencil and say, oh, I'm gonna measure that using kilometers. No, definitely not. You wouldn't even look at it and say, I'm going to use meters. You would say, okay, so that pencil looks like it might be about the same as like 10 ladybugs. So I'm going to use centimeters. So that's what you should do first. So example two is uh, where we are going to estimate before we actually measure. So finger or pencil on example two and read in your head while I read out loud. Choose the best estimate for the length of a student's desk. 
Remember, 10 millimeters is the same as one centimeter. So let's look. Would we say that a desk is about five centimeters or the same as five ladybugs lined up end to end? Five millimeters or the length or the width of uh, five eyelashes, 50 centimeters, which would be about 50 ladybugs from end to end, or 50 millimeters, which would be 50 eyelashes, or because we know that 10 millimeters are the same as one centimeter, that would be five centimeters. Well, obviously, 50 centimeters is going to be the best option because 5 centimeters and 5 millimeters are way too small. 50 millimeters is the same as 5 centimeters, and we already know that 5 centimeters are too small. So, I'm sorry, so 50 centimeters would be the best option because a desk has to be long enough to work on. So, the answer is 50 centimeters or choice C. This was actually preparing you for the Iowa tests, but we did not take it this year. So that's why we're doing all this multiple choice. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we'll look at the guided practice. Okay, so you should be looking at the guided practice. And number one says, estimate the length of the grasshopper, then measure to the nearest centimeter. Well, since most of you already turned in your rulers, can't believe I forgot about this, don't worry about measuring it to the nearest centimeter. If you still have your ruler, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So, number one, so first we're going to estimate. So think of this grasshopper. Now, usually we're going to think of the real life object, but in this case, because we see this line, do you see this right here? That means that we're actually measuring. So we're measuring the picture of the object because this line gives us the line to follow with our ruler. So let's imagine how many ladybugs can fit between here and here, which would be the same length as that grasshopper. I'd say a ladybug would probably, I'd say maybe about three ladybugs. So I'd say my estimate is three centimeters. So just imagine a little ladybug. They're not very big. And imagine how many you can fit from end to end. So like this. Oops, my ladybugs. Because I'm not using real ladybugs, they are not going to be super accurate, but we'll try to get it as best we can. But you get the picture. So if we lined up some ladybugs like that, about three would fit in the one on your book. So I'm going to estimate that it is about three centimeters. Now, if you have your ruler, make sure that you are looking at the centimeter side, this, the side with these smaller units up top. There's usually a CM. And then you're gonna line that first part, uh, that first line, so like this one, oh, I forgot, you can't see because I'm pointing at the iPad right now. Oh, goodness. With this line right here, not the end of the ruler, but this line right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that zero line and you're going to line it up with this line right here. And then you're going to go straight across that arrow and you're going to see where it ends. Now on yours, you'll see but it's right at about three centimeters. Mine is much longer because I'm using the one on the board, but you'll see on yours that if you line the ruler up with each of these lines and go straight across this arrow, it's about three centimeters. So that's one type of problem you'll see. Anytime you see a problem like this, estimate the length of the blank, then measure to the nearest centimeter. Well, remember you're estimating the picture in this case because it has the line. So if it has this line, this measurement line, where it, there are two lines with an arrow pointing between them, that's when you will measure the picture, not the actual object. So you're not thinking of an actual grasshopper. You're thinking of just this picture. Um, if you don't see those lines, like we don't see those lines here. So now we are imagining the actual size of a kayak, not the picture. Do you see the difference? 
Here we have those two lines with the arrow in between. Here we don't. When we have the two lines with the arrow in between, that means we're measuring the picture. We're thinking of the picture. If we don't have the two lines with an arrow in between, that means we're estimating the actual object. If you are confused about that, please reach out to me later and I will help to explain um, again. So number two says, choose the best estimate for the length of the kayak. Remember, we're thinking of an actual kayak, not this picture. So would it be six centimeters or the size of six ladybugs end to end? Two meters or the size of um, two baseball bats or two, uh, two baseball bats lined up in a row? Six meters or six baseball bats lined from end to end? or two kilometers, which would be about the same as 12 city blocks. Well, we know it can't be six centimeters because a kayak has to be big enough for a person to ride in it. A six centimeter kayak would not be big enough even for the tiniest baby. So we know it can't be six centimeters. We know it can't be two kilometers because that is like a running distance. That's almost as far as a, um, that's almost half of a 5K. So that would, you wouldn't be able to even carry, you wouldn't even be able to carry it from your car to the water that you want to put it in. Um, and then you wouldn't even be able to ride it in the little creek because you'd probably get stuck, you wouldn't be able to turn. So now we're between two meters and six meters. Well, six meters is like six of these from back to back. That would be a little too long. That would really be too long for a kayak, especially because we notice this is like a one person kayak. Maybe a two-person kayak, but even then, that would be a little long. So the best, most reasonable estimate would be two meters or two yardsticks, about two yardsticks lined up. And you can see, you can imagine a kayak. You've all seen it. I'm sure it's Shelby Farms or the, on the river or somewhere. Two of these would be plenty for a one-person kayak. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, we're going to do number three on the independent practice together so that I can model this estimating since some of you may not have your rulers. Um, and then you will uh, be, and then you'll do the rest on your own. So go ahead and turn to page 777 and we're going to look at number three. Okay, so the directions for the independent practice, number three through six, say estimate each length then measure each object to the nearest centimeter. Now, some of you may not have your rulers, so we're just gonna do like what we did on guided practice number one. Well, first of all, we see, we're gonna do number three together. We see that we have these two lines with the arrow between. So that means we're measuring this picture. We're not thinking of an actual crab because an actual crab we know is much bigger than this, but we're not estimating and then measuring the length of an actual crab. Although, Kit, you could like, measure the length of your hermit crab, but we're just going to look at this picture. So, what I'm going to do first, and what I might do if I don't have my ruler, is I'm going to estimate how long it is. Um, I know that I'm going to be measuring centimeters because my directions say measure the object to the nearest centimeter, but I also know that meters and kilometers would be way too long to measure this picture of a crab. And um, millimeters would really be too short. I would probably have like way too many millimeters here. So centimeters is the best option. Millimeters are just too short. Meters and kilometers are too long. So I know whatever I'm measuring it in is going to be centimeters. Don't forget, always put your units. Always, always, always. Okay, so this crab, I'm going to imagine, I know that a centimeter is about the size of a ladybug from end to end. So if I look at this picture, ladybugs are little, but they're not teeny tiny. So I'd, I'd say I could probably fit about six ladybugs from end to end between this line and this line, which means that this picture of this crab is about six centimeters long. Now, if you have your ruler, you're gonna take it out. Make sure that you're looking at the centimeter side, which is the smaller units, and then make sure you start at this line right here, not the end of your ruler. Don't measure using that little bit of empty space. You're going to line the end of that ruler, not, I'm sorry, not the end of that ruler, but that first line on the ruler up with this first line and then measure straight across the arrow 
and see where it stops. Because I have this giant picture on the board, my little ruler is not long enough. So, but if you measure it, you'll see that from this end to this end is about six centimeters long. Okay, so you're gonna do that with numbers three through six. If you do not have a ruler at home, don't worry about actually measuring the object, just estimate. Make sure that you are making reasonable estimations. Um, some of you, you just have to imagine those objects. Um, and then number seven and eight, it says choose the best estimate for each length. Now you'll notice that number seven and eight do not have these lines on them. That means you're thinking of the actual object. So think of an actual real life corn stalk. Like if you've ever been to a corn maze or if you've gotten them for Christmas, I'm sorry, not for Christmas, for Halloween, for decorations, or if you've driven by a farm that has corn. Think about the height of that corn stalk. You see them behind the pumpkins. Then number eight is the length of an airport runway. So not the length that it looks like in this picture, which is only a few millimeters or centimeters, but an actual airport runway. So if you are at the airport and what length does that airplane need in order to be able to take off safely? Then if you look at the back, numbers nine through 11 are word problems. Uh, for number nine, you're just comparing something to the size of a giraffe. Number 10, you are choosing the best estimate. Don't forget to say why you chose that estimate. Um, number 11, that is a critical thinking question, so make sure that you fully answer that question. Don't just write one sentence down because that's not going to help you very much. That's not going to answer the question. That is a critical thinking question, so make sure to put some thought into it. Number 12, it says to find three things in the classroom that are longer than 10 centimeters and smaller than 100. Just do whatever room or in your house. So find um, three things in your house that are longer than 10 centimeters and smaller than 100 centimeters. And then number 13 is another critical thinking question, so make sure you're gonna answer yes or no, and then make sure that you're answering why you said yes or no. Don't forget, make sure you have enough information to fully answer the question. Then on the homework, numbers one through three, you see these lines, which means that if you do have a ruler, you'll be estimating how long it is and then actually measuring it. If you don't have a ruler, you'll just be estimating it. Please don't pretend like you don't have a ruler if you do. Just get it out and use it. Okay, then number four and five, you're thinking of the length of these actual objects. There are no pictures for us to measure. So we know we're thinking of an actual river and an actual sunflower seed. And you're going to estimate. You're going to choose the best one. Um, then number six, you are comparing two measurements. Number seven, you are deciding if a measurement is reasonable. Don't forget to say why. Some of you lost points because you said, yes, it's reasonable, two answers, but you didn't say why. You always have to say why. Why is it reasonable? Why is it not reasonable? And then number eight, um, you are doing, uh, you're just comparing objects you know to the objects in the question. Number nine is a vocabulary question. And then number 10 is a, um, is a uh, you're choosing the best unit okay so that's it for today's lesson if you do have a ruler please use it if not that's my fault um just estimate i do know who has a ruler and who doesn't though just so that you know from me at least okay um that's it for today go ahead and start uh, get your independent practice done and then you can work on your homework uh, right after or you can work on it later if you want um, if you have any questions about today's lesson, then make sure to reach out to me today between 1 and 5, and I'll help you out.